<laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I think a 14 hits, or I'm not entirely sure. Actually, it doesn't need dudes. 14 does hit. Okay, so he takes five. Five damage, okay. He is looking hurt. And then bonus action for 23. Yeah, he, um, you, uh, tell me how you, tell me how, how this guy gets hit. Uh, when he's running, yep. I use, I, I spin around and sweep his leg. Okay. And then continue the spin and hit him right in the crotch. All right, so he uh, for the most damage. <laughs> so he um he fall he, as you sweep his legs out from under him and punch him in the crotch down into the ground. He doesn't get back up. He is out of commission. Uh, John <laughs> usually kicks. This was a thing. Oh yeah. But, oh, so yeah. you, you kick. But, so you. You uh, sweep his legs from out from, out from under him, and then you do twirl around, do a back kick right in his nuts as he's in the air. Sweep the leg, Bowie. And then uh, he uh, he falls down on the ground. Out of commission. <laughs> he, he he is no more. Next up, it is Phelan, our warlock. All right. Um. So I can zoom. I can see kind of over. This. It stuff. is a five foot. Yeah. It is yeah. Five it's foot. not. Yeah, it's not much. Okay. So, I'm just going to start scaling it to get over into the battle there. Okay. And I assume I don't need an athletics or anything like that. No, you're not jumping over it. You're just, it's five foot, so you're okay. literally climbing up onto it. I climb up onto it, point down. Like a and kind of look triumphant, and then she's going to... Jump and then midair. She's going to face step over here by this guy and like right around here and punch at this guy and kind of like is, face is stepping. Sort step? of, huh? Is that is that a bonus action? Yeah. It's okay. A bonus a and then uh, so it's like face stepping, kind of like into the air, sort of above this guy. So she's punching okay. down at him. All right. God damn. You're doing like a nightcrawler thing. All right, so this hits, and um, you have advantage, right? Yeah. You, you, no, not on this guy. Oh, did you hitting the guy with advantage? Uh, advantage. well, I was. Yeah, I was going for that guy first. But... Okay. Which guy? Actually, the advantage guy or the big guy? Small guy or big guy? I'll go for the big guy. I love it. Okay, so it does. It's gonna hit be him. cool. And, uh, and you punch him in the face, and this this time, uh. He feels it. He spits out a cheese on the ground as you hit him. <laughs> and she likes, all right. Good. <laughs> kind of looks at her glove like, finally. <laughs> okay, next up we have uh, Mathurdis. So I'll tell the guy, obviously, right in front of me. For 15. All right, that hits. Oh, sorry. Wrong roll. That's th 13 damage. Okay, and um, tell me how you kill this guy. Uh... I'm just gonna, like, cleave his... I don't know, just straight into his skull, as far as it can go, the sword. Alright, so, um... Down on his head. Yeah, and he falls to the ground dead. Right. And I'm gonna move... Right here. Alright, next up, we have, um... Mythic. Okay, well, now I assume I see these people over here. Yeah, you see them. Okay, this dude. Is yep. he apparently a halfer or a full blood? He's a half orc, but he he's looking straight at you. He totally is ignoring Mathurdis. Um he um he 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 knows who you are and he screams out to you and he says, uh You uh Gislane's pet orc. Uh you you, you slew my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> Metic will, in his usual, completely impassive, barely even look like looking through the guy almost, just turn towards him, lumber over there. Your father was bourbon. Does Medic have six fingers on him? <laughs> Medic is a six figure dork. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you're attacking? Yes. Okay. What do six fingers have to do with it? <laughs> Oh my what? god! Wow. <laughs> what? 
Wow. <laughs> also, uh, amazing. Getting terrible rolls. You, yes. that, is literally, that is literally the worst roll you could possibly get. That's two ones and a one for damage. That's insane. That is literal. That is like a spectacular achievement in dice failure. <laughs> yeah, that Princess wow. Bride sad reference. I can't even. As you well, swing can so <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. As you swing at him. Uh, he parries with his. Uh, let's see what, he, what weapon he's wielding. He parries with his uh, his scimitar, and uh, and the blade kind of the the strength of the parry just kind of shocks you. It, it shakes your hand to its core, and uh, you, you drop your weapon, and he kicks it. Uh, 20 feet this way, so it's landing, uh, I'll mark the square. He kicks it in this purple square right here, and that's where your longsword is right now. There's that purple square? Yeah, I don't yeah, see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. okay, I see it, back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, I see it now. Alright. He says, today will be your last. Okay, and uh, next up we have Beezlebub Cheddar Cheese. Beezlebub? <laughs> yes. Uh, Beezlebub uh, moves within range. Okay. And, just, and if you move it? here, you can hit all enemies without hitting any allies because you can make the cone. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's not. Let's try not to bet the game. You can make the cone like that. Yeah. All right. Just saying. I think it's like I'm trying not to, I'm not trying to like metagame. Knowing, like, if you don't know the character yet, it's good to know what you can do with it. Yeah, yeah I, I, get, I get what you're saying, but he, uh, yeah, just stuff. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was trying to help. I, you know, yeah, I'll let you guys help him out for the first step. Okay, so are uh, you doing your breath weapon? Yeah, it's uh, 2d6 damage at my current level. All right, you kind of have. I think you might actually have to be. It's a fifteen foot cone in front of you. Have you have to be a bit one space more forward. Yeah. More space forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, and now you can uh, breathe the cone that way and hit hit everybody. Um, it's a con save. It's a con save. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, okay. I'll roll that. And uh, what's the DC on that? It'd be like ten plus whatever his con is, I assume. Look in your spellbook section of your character sheet. It'll say what your sorcerer DC is. It wouldn't be yes, sorcerer. It yeah, it's not based on sorcerer. Oh, sorry, it's based no. On con. That's it's true. It's your constitution uh, modifier. I forgot about which... that. So roll that damage. Roll a two d six, and I'll tell you who who takes it. Okay. So forward slash and then R, right? Yes. Figured it out. I'm gonna go. All right. So um, they're shivering in their boots. The uh, I'm so the scared. Big guy, the big guy takes all five damage, and he, he just he looks visit, he just looks chilly. He kind of gets goosebumps, <laughs> and uh, the rest of them take bum, 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 bum. two damage. And um, it really, it looks like it really didn't do do much. Hmm. Okay, next up we have. I blew my load early. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> next up we have um, all the dudes, right? <laughs> we have uh, Broly, and Broly is going to turn around and attack. Wait, the legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think we're screwed. Uh, Broly's gonna turn around and attack the person that just teleported behind her, behind him, uh, and uh, it is going to be a you're gonna get hit for five damage. He like, swings uh, and it slices your ribs. Ow! Bobby's also gonna turn around, actually. Bobby just, uh, even though you punched him in the back of the head, he saw his uh, his ally get absolutely decimated by this monk. So he knows who the true, who knows who the real threat is. 
And, uh, sure. <laughs> does he not provoke? Uh, he does provoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wee. Come on. Okay, yeah. so uh, you punch him in the back of the head again, and uh, <coughs> it's like, pay attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! Senpai! And, uh, senpai, notice me! Senpai. <laughs> and, um. Bobby, Senpai, no! He takes another 5 damage. Uh, but he is going to attack our, um. Jean Saint Florent um, uh, with his mace, and he's going to. If he makes, I just, I just want to say, if he makes an attack roll under seventeen, uh, I'll, I'll, I mean, if he makes an attack roll between sixteen and seventeen, I'll use my reaction. But if he's making two attacks, I can't do it twice. Yeah, no, the first one completely misses, and uh, yeah. the second one hits for nineteen. Okay, and for, uh, yeah, and he, uh, so he, the first one, you manage to uh, do some kung fu to kind of, uh, kind of parry it, uh, but the second one he hits you square in the ribs for uh, six bludgeoning damage. Okay, got it. Spit up a little blood. Okay. Uh, oh, my beautiful, beautiful lungs. So our our um big bad half orc is going to say is going to laugh now that medic has no weapon. He's going to swing his scimitar at him. And um. And it's going. This one's going to just bounce off his armor. He's going to attack again. What exactly was the roll? The first one was twelve. The second one is fifteen. So this one. Okay, twelve. It, twelve is me dodging. Is it? Yeah, I get my dex bonus in the chain shirt, and I have a dex bonus of two. Okay, yeah, perfectly fine. You, uh, you, um, you, you, you uh, use your you use your shield, and you kind of. You kind of dodge out of the way and, and push his scimitar with his shield. And the second one, uh, he um, he swings at you again, and this one bounces off your armor. Uh, and then he's going to use the dagger in his offhand, and he's going to make a third attack. And uh, this one, uh, you just kind of duck right under. And uh, that's his turn, and now it is uh, Lily's turn again. Okay, this... The pit you said, is it this whole uh, differently colored area over here? Uh, the uh, brown squares, can you see those? I thought I put them on GM uh, info. Here is yeah, I can pit. see loads of grot, like... Uh, oh, no, 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 the, uh, I'm going to make the pits visible now that you spotted them. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, those are the pits. You can easily jump five feet, you can jump your... Uh, I forget what the long jump rules are, but you can you uh, you can jump five feet without ease, without even rolling for it. Okay, and I didn't see a pit on the other side of this one. Uh, and I'm gonna hop it. Yeah, you can hop it. Okay, let's see. Two, three, five. Mm -hmm. ah, yep. One second, I find it here in my spell book and cast it. And that's on the big guy who's right next to uh, Jean. Okay. I'm, I'm going to pull him right across. In front of John, hoping that provokes an attack of opportunity, but I'm not no, sure. Yeah. Force movement yeah, doesn't. Force movement doesn't. Okay. It's only if they use their own. Yeah. It, unless you are forcing them to expend their reaction to move. Okay, so you yeah, pull yeah. Them towards you, and uh, I suppose use command. Or uh, dissonant they, whispers. Uh, they dash the what, when they run and flee, it forces them to use their reaction, so they still provoke. Yeah. Okay. Um, just, just a quick note for long jumping. I just looked it up. When you make a long jump, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least ten feet before half that, if not. So I don't think anyone here has strength five. So everyone can make that jump. No roll. Okay. So 
the next turn. It